to Dating in the City, where we discuss the hot relationship-related stories happening today in pop culture and how to apply them to you in real life. I'm Alessandra Conti. And I'm Christina Conti Pineda. And we are celebrity matchmakers based in Los Angeles. And we are so excited to, we have, like, we have so much to talk to you guys about today. So we are in the time of, we're in the time of quarantine. Yes. It is a quarantine moment. How how are you, Christina? Doing are you great. Doing? We've actually been able to do these. We're doing these weekly, which is wonderful because our podcast listeners know that we've in the past only we've been able to struggled to do, to do monthly. Right. We've struggled to we've do struggled, monthly, but yeah. now because of quarantine, we want to make sure that we can bring you as much positive yeah. And inspiring content as possible. Just a little levity yes. in a time of horror. Um, but you're actually doing really well, Christina. You just have such a positive attitude and you're almost like, it's just, it's really admirable, whereas I'm crumbling. Um, <laughs> that's why I'm a shell of who I once was. Um, but that's why my present to you was a Bible and a, a bottle of wine. Oh my God, like literally, <laughs> that was literally your present to me, a Bible yes. and a bottle of wine. That was home stamped. It was homemade. Yes, by Mr. Pineda. By Mr. Pineda, Dan's her husband's father. My husband's father-in-law. Father. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. I, we felt those feet as we were popping the bottle. Um, I could taste the feet. Oh. You know? No, that's not good. I was just kidding. Yeah, I did. I had it. I had it. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was really oh, I don't know anything about delicious. wine tasting terminology. No, no, no. So I, don't I know was if that's just a good jo- thing. No. Or a bad thing. I was joking because you know how like when somebody makes wine, they like stamp on the grapes with their feet. Oh. So that's what I was referring I to. Thought, so, like, I, I was could, confused by the whole the leg yeah. situation. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because the legs, you can see the legs. Yeah. I, I didn't really <laughs> notice the legs, but it's, you know, it's all oh, it's no. all semantic. Um, but we have a lot to, you know, even though the world is, is ever changing, um, the news that's been out there hasn't exactly been the most, um, invigorating. Yeah. But, and also it's, it's the headlines too. Oh, it's always headlines. It's always, they want to be as negative as possible and yeah. the buzzwords, Ooh. everyone Ooh. clicks on, they know what people I click. click on, on I'm Corona, clicking. all of that. I'm so clicking. just don't let it scare you. Yeah. I mean, thank praise you. the Lord praise you. that we are safe <gasps> and just trust in him. And We're safe good. and healthy. And we hope that you guys, everybody who's watching, we hope that you are all healthy. You are all safe. We hope that your family is healthy and that your family is safe and that you're not, and that you're taking this time to really focus on you. Um, and yeah, we'll talk a bit about more like how to, how to use this time in quarantine. But our first segment is called, we can't help but wonder. We can't help but wonder. Um, In our segment, We Can't Help But Wonder, we discuss the top relationship-related stories and situations happening in pop culture today today, and how to apply them to you in real life as what we're basically doing with this entire podcast. Um, So our first We Can't Help But Wonder, Governor Cuomo is single. Ladies, he's single. <laughs> is this recent news? No. Or okay. So he as you guys, okay. This so this is actually sure. okay. So I am an <laughs> avid watcher of the Morning Toast, um, oh, hosted by Girl with No okay. Job and Jackie O. Problems. Um, and I just I love those ladies. So this it, story is a total nod to them. Um, uh, but anyway, yeah, they were talking about how Andrew Cuomo. So a lot of like, so he's been doing these live broadcasts of um, of just like live, just, you know, on the, in the field um, broadcast about coronavirus and just, he's been a really great leader during this time. Um, And, and I mean, you know, he's kind of attractive. So... (laughs) The like, true meaning no, behind he's, no, her. No, he's like really her attractive. But I'm not the only No, I'm not the only woman <laughs> who thinks that he's attractive, I promise. So there's this whole thing like No, he has those Italian jeans. Oh, on. I know. Of course. <laughs> the best the best <laughs> jeans that anybody could ever venture to have or wish dream to have. We're, we're dream. Italian American. We're Italian. So Italian. That's yeah. Why. So I'm not sure. You know, he's, so it's just the best. Um, but anyway, yeah, so like everybody's loving Governor Cuomo. So we can't help but wonder who are some great matches for the New York City governor? Okay. <laughs> this we, is 
so, wait, I just want to say, like, <laughs> this is, you know, like, you know it's, you know you're in a pandemic when, like, we're trying to match make Governor Cuomo. <laughs> like. Well, we did have a great idea for a reality show. Oh. The International Matchmaking. Oh, yes. Theme. Christina. And it, we have some pretty powerful listeners. So yeah, if anyone and has pretty connections. pretty powerful clients, too. Yes. If anyone has connections yeah. to mm-hmm. the world leaders. <laughs> No, we, yeah. were, we were thinking of doing some dictator dictator matchmaking to try to make them nicer people. Honestly, <laughs> so, sometimes all you need is love. Sometimes all you need is love. Right. Um, okay, so for Governor Cuomo, um, so I've actually done a lot of. We've both done a lot of celebrity matchmaking. I've done some more public celebrity matchmaking yes, on yes. Access Hollywood. Yes, yes. And as you know, people, I feel, <laughs> I feel as though people kind of um, look to me. In when it comes to unorthodox matchmaking, oh yeah, like a little bit yes. outside of the box Definitely. matchmaking, Definitely. Um, because I don't like to go for the obvious. Like, where's the fun in the obvious? Mm. Um, so, okay, do you apply this to your normal matchmaking? No, it's actually no. Okay, this is more when I'm doing when like celebrity matchmaking okay. when I'm on TV because okay. I just I feel like it's more fun to like matchmake Channing Tatum with Lizzo, you know, than it is to match. Channing Tatum with another brunette, athletic brunette, who, like, this is what he normally does. Um, so I, so I'm thinking for Governor Cuomo, well, so his, it's important to note that his age. last, yeah. oh, sorry. oh, oh, his age. Oh, I wasn't even talking about his age. Oh, okay. We're not finishing each other's sandwiches today. Okay. <laughs> um, he's 62, just so I can put that 62? out there. Yes. yes. So honestly, ladies, and this is another thing, and we'll talk about age in a second, but mm-hmm. this is a another thing that is an attractive man and guess what he's 62 okay that's what I told Dan the other day when Dan started seeing a few little gray hairs oh, and I said don't worry I Dan every man even men in their 60s make it into the top 50 yeah. hottest celebrities hottest, hottest men alive <laughs> the exactly. magazine did hottest that alive. the hottest men alive <laughs> right so wait, what, men what, do wait, have what, it a little what, easier what magazine with that aging what it, the hottest man alive it's like not Maxim, that's the women's, but no. what's the man's? The people's hottest yes, people's, man. People's. Yeah, people's. And I think the last last year was, um, what's his name? Uh... Uh, Chrissy Teigen's husband. Oh, John. I think John, John Legend. John, John, okay. like Chrissy Teigen's husband. I mean, right. yeah, John Legend. Well, a lot of men yeah. from this in the '60s range do you make it in there? Yeah, they do. The George I mean, Listen, the... I love a, I love an elder. Oh, oh no! Oh dear! I'm so sorry, you guys. Can you please? Um, put that on? Yes, I can put it. I'll put it on. Um, I'll put it on. What's it called? Uh, uh, okay. Okay. So let's get to the matchmaking, Christina. Um, so, okay, it's also important to note that um, Governor Cuomo, his last, um, he was married to a Kennedy. A Kennedy. Um, I forget her name, oh, but she was a Kennedy. Okay. So that's fascinating. Okay. Um, his ex-wife his ex, Yes, his ex-wife is a Kennedy. I'm going to put this on airplane mode right now. Sorry, I'm so sorry, you guys. But- <laughs> sorry. I'm just really popular, and it's just really, you know, sometimes it's it's not easy. It's not easy to be so popular. All right. Really? Um, but, Christina, give us a match. Okay. Well, I actually had this. This is a tip from... Someone who I, a bachelor who I met with and was doing a meeting with, and he had mentioned a, and he actually recently reached out to me, so if you're listening, you know who you are, but he had mentioned he loves Sophia Bush, and she's very much... Sophia Bush. And you know... From One Tree Hill? Yes. Oh my God. She's not someone who you would typically... So unexpected. Very unexpected. I don't know how old she is. I have no idea. Yeah. But she's maybe... I think 30s. Definitely 30s. Oh, wow. She is half... (laughs) She's half... Half his age. Okay. It's Andrew Cuomo. But she is... The reason I say this is because she would get along with him politically a lot. Okay. If you look at... She's... Yeah, uh, yeah, that's that was my initial. If you're gonna ask me on the spot, yeah, I'm asking you. On who the I spot. he to, he had he live had matchmaking talked baby. To live me matchmaking. about her. I have no idea who she was at this point, and he told me about her. Then I looked yeah. her up, and then I saw what she was posting, and I think they would be pretty aligned. Oh, but I don't. Yeah, because he would be a, mm-hmm. he would be a difficult. I don't think he'd be one. difficult. I want him. With, I'm loving Angelina Jolie. 
So that was oh, my first, yes, yes, that was my first inclination. And honestly, oh. like, I feel like they'd be such a beautiful couple. Like Angelina is so philanthropic. She's such an activist. I could just see her on the front lines, like behind the scenes, like working for the American Red Cross. And they just put that big boat now in the water in New York. And I could just see like Angelina Jolie just, you know, and bringing all of her kids with the masks and then just like <laughs> congratulating like and, I just got like I just yeah, feel that's a really good one. I know She's more Angelina. To him. Yes, totally. Yes, yes, so yes, I yes, and yes, I, yes. I just feel like she the next person she needs to be with is an activist and a politician because that's that's mm. what she's doing right now. So mm. isn't that a beautiful match though? Yeah. I mean it's almost like I'm a professional <laughs> I don't know too like much about almost, her, but that sounds Yeah, yeah and she start. has a bunch of kids and I just I, I feel like he's a family man. I feel like I could see him as a family man. So Oof. his brother actually, his brother. I don't think he has children. I don't know. I, I don't know. Un, we didn't, un, we're not. Unconfirmed. Un, right. This is not a news resource right here. Yes. This is absolutely not a news resource. But um, but his brother, though, um, just got diagnosed. His brother is a reporter for CNN. And they have this amazing, like, banter back and forth. Like, if you and I were on, like, if I was the governor and you were, like, on CNN, it would probably be similar. Um, just, you know, it would, be, it would be exactly the same. But... Um, <laughs> But he just got diagnosed with coronavirus, of course. Yeah. So his brother. So prayers, prayers for the brother. I forget his name because I can't with names. I think his I can name barely is remember Chris. my own name. Or, his name is yeah. Chris, I think. Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Chris Cuomo. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Chris Cuomo. But yeah, they're adorable. So bless the family. I'm loving an Angelina. Oh my gosh, I think Chris is married because then we could do. Uh, yeah, we could do matchmaking on him too. But he's alas, married. he's married. He's married. Yes. Um. So yeah, Governor Cuomo. When this all ends, um, Christina, can I can can I make a can I make an offer? Call us up. Can I make an offer? <laughs> we'll match you. So Governor Cuomo, when this ends, we would love to offer you a complimentary bachelor's membership with matchmakers in the city. Ooh, we would love to. We will find you a beautiful woman. You have done so much for this country. Thank you very much. Um, I'm actually thinking of one of our I know she's one of right our bachelorettes now. too. Yes. She's not famous, but she's uh she's a she's a bigger name. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so our next story. 36-year-old Brody Jenner is now dating 20-year-old TikToker Daisy Keach, who I have never even heard of. Hmm. Um we can't help but wonder, is age just a number? Oh. Oh, okay. So first of all, Brody Jenner, yeah. the, uh, famous Jenner, Kardashian, Bruce Jenner's son was on the hills. Yes. Um, we grew Had up. Some we grew up on Brody Jenner. Fantastic, fantastic. On the- <laughs> so there was one time on the hills when they were at a club and they were like everybody was sitting at the table, <laughs> and then Brody just like walks up to the table. Nobody says anything, <laughs> but he walks up and he says. There's too much drama here. And then he leaves the club. Like, and I remember, you know, we died at that I thought scene. that was an we SNL died. skit, actually. No, that was, that was real. The real. He literally yeah. walks up to the table. Nobody says anything. They just, like, Adrena just does, like, a stare. And he says, there's too much drama here. And then he leaves. Uh. So... Love Brody. Um, yes. Remember we? So we actually went to the Hills finale a few like a few oh, yes. years ago. Oh my god! Yes, with MJ. Like MJ, if you're listening, ago. if you remember, yeah, the, one of our girlfriends. Yes, where was it again? I was in New York Tavern City, on the Tavern Green. on the Green. It was Tavern beautiful. on the Green. It was, it was gorgeous. Yeah, it was, it was a really winter. Cold. It was a winter wonderland. Yeah, and we were all that was a theme. Dolled up. And all dolled <laughs> up. All dolled up in little dresses. Not the warmest. Yeah, outfits. those were the MTV days. <laughs> It's funny because I've had a few MTV, like when I was in high school, I did a lot with MTV. And then obviously as a matchmaker, I, um, I'm one of the matchmakers for the show, Are You right. the One? Um, not this last season because it was, um, the LGBT and I love LGBT, but I don't, I'm not like an expert at matchmaking LGBT. Um, but yeah, the previous, uh, two seasons. So anyway, but yeah, so it was during the early MTV days and, it was it was fun. I mean, it was a fun thing, and and we you know we all we were really into the hills at that time. But anyway, so back to Brody. I mean, and back to kind of the age thing, Christina. So a thirty six year old with a twenty year old, right? Twenty, not twenty one, not twenty three. Twenty. How do you feel about that? 
Yeah, I know. It's I feel like this is similar to Leonardo DiCaprio and oh, his Leo. His young girlfriend. It's just I guess the guy is she like she's very young. Yes, she's very, very young. Seventeen? I forget. No, eighteen or maybe I don't know. Maybe she's twenty something. I'm not sure. But I, know. I think Brody let me go, let me go has the emotion. <laughs> Has more oh, of a maturity. I can't. I'm on an airplane. Joke. <laughs> Excuse me. And yeah, I don't mean they're this young. in a they're in, in a 20s. in a judgmental way, but his he is matured in in a way of a very Hollywood way. That's what I've seen at least of just knowing him from the hills. So maybe someone hit, who's younger than him would be on the same page as him. I don't know who's that much younger. That was like such a kind way of saying <laughs> like he has the emotional maturity of a 20, 20 year old. I don't know him. I'm not sure, but it's, it, it would be hard as a, even some of our bachelors who are very physically picky and physically. we work with some of the yeah, pickiest really men picky. in the world. Yeah. I don't but, condone it. But right, it's, get, it is listen. It is what it is. Right. It is what it is. We we would be lying if we said that that didn't that wasn't the case. Right. as matchmakers. It's true. I wish it wasn't. It's true. Wish it wasn't. But it's true. But even with some can't of change them, society. Something that we always say. Yes. When we, we when a woman comes in and she's like, well, well, why? And I'm like, oh, the, no. Or like a man comes in and he's like, wait, but why can't I date a supermodel? I'm like, I can't change society. You yeah. know. But anyway. Um, okay. Yeah, I was just so, saying that, yeah. that he... It might even, be a good match it, because but even, of his emotional maturity. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. Um, okay, so here's my thoughts. I believe that before 21, it is too young. If they cannot go mm. to a bar and get a drink, uh, my personal belief is that it is too young. Um, after 21, I think that you're free to fly. I don't think it matters quite as much, but I do think that there is an ick, fa an ick factor when the woman is under 21. Um, and it is a man who, obviously if a guy is 21 and he's dating somebody 18, it's not as, well, it's still a little weird. It's, it's really young. Um, but oh yeah, that's too young. I mean, not the teens. Mm. Oh no. If you're over 21 and you're dating a teen, it's just too much. But, but I also think that different women mature faster as well. Yeah, I matured and very fast. Yes, it's true. And I know some couples personally oh. who he was a couple years older and the yeah. woman had wasn't 21 yet, but they were just so aligned in faith and in everything else that it worked. I think you just wait. I'm I'm just going to put I'm going to go on a I'll go on a ledge huh. and say if the man is over tw is over 21, mm. I think you just I think it's just a little too early. I think it's a little too early. I don't think I don't think it's I don't know. I don't like it. Um I've I mean, just seen success with it happening, so that's why. Right. I, typically I would have been on your If you page. want a child bride hire Christina. <laughs> <laughs> it's illegal. <laughs> no, no, not a child bride. Oh my god, we're totally joking because honestly, we can't even joke about this stuff. Right? No, 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 no. All no, of no, the no, no. Uh, not, not Harvey Weinstein, but the um, uh, Epstein. Oh my goodness, the, the what's his name? Epstein. I have no idea. Jeffrey Epstein, the pedophile. No. Oh gosh, it's just really scary right now in Hollywood. Honestly, I've been in under on so many rabbit holes these past couple days. <laughs> but okay, so moving on about that, on. I think that you know after I think we always say though when when you're dating and when when somebody comes into matchmakers in the city and they're like okay like we say what's your ideal age range for your match um that's always a question that we yes, ask exactly. and usually like we advise um 10 years is like a safe age range so right. like if she was 25 and he's 36 a little older than ideal but like it's okay so that's why when it goes beyond that 10 years to me right. it gives me a bit of a pause right um and also so, like, to me, it only, I say 10 years once they hit 21. Um, th then it's a 10-year. Then I'm comfortable with that. That's my personal opinion, though. Sure. Um, and But I think also, I think for women that are looking for a man who is maybe more established in his career and who is on the same page in terms of if they want to get married in a year and they want to have kids soon, right. then looking a little older is actually a really good idea. Yes. So if you're in your That's late true. 20s or early 30s, I would say go all the way up to, I mean, if, if you're okay with it, go up to like 
mid to late 40s yeah. um, because then you have men who are actually in that place whereas sometimes when a, a man is your age you can meet another if you're 29 you can meet another 29 year old guy and he could just be getting his bearings and like just starting in his career mm -hmm. so it's really important to know what are your priorities what are your um, what are your what are your goals in a relationship in the next five years um, and then really don't be afraid to go a little older as a woman um, if if you do want somebody who is at a different level and who is really ready for the things that you want. Um, that's, you know, that's, listen, hey, I've just been matchmaking for nine years. That's just my two cents about things. Sure. Um, <clears throat> okay, so our next segment is hashtag Netflix and quarantine. Wow, Netflix and <laughs> quarantine. <laughs> Our Conti COVID classics. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. What's your suggestion? My suggestion something? for this week is Little Women. Mm. I actually just wrote an article about... Which, which one? Which one? The new one or the old one? Well, whichever. If they want to just go down the rabbit hole of Little Women, that's not a bad rabbit hole to find yourself in. Mm. It's beautiful. <laughs> it is. That's what I did. I, I started with watching the Greta Gerwig, the re most recent... Little Women movie that came out, I think in late December, yeah. and then but it's still been we out in theaters for many months. So it's very, it's a very successful movie. It came mm -hmm. out at the right time too. Oh, Just God. like Star Wars, they really they knew they had the it's right time frame. As if they knew. No. <laughs> well, anyway, but it's been going throughout the world recently, and it's on Amazon Prime. You can get it on Amazon Prime now, and it's coming out on DVD on April seventh. So if you want that one, yeah. I go for it. I wrote an article recently called Which Sister from Little Women Are You? And what Which, does that... What sister are you? Oh, sorry. And then what is that? Sorry. And how does that affect your dating life, basically? And we will put that link to that on the bottom of this, in the comment section, yeah. in the bottom of this. Wait, Christina, which Little Women sister are you? I, I That's the problem. When I, I thought that I had a clear idea before I started writing the article, and then I listened to the book... I listen instead of reading it, I listen to it as yeah, a podcast audio. on audio. And then you watch the second movie. I yeah. just remembered the things that I needed to for my article for yeah. the second, the, um, the, the first, movie, the first the 90s, movie the 90s in the nineties yeah. with Winona Ryder, Winona Ryder and yeah, Winona Ryder. And what, who's the bachelor again? Who the um, Batman? Christian Bale. Christian Bale. Yeah. Yes. 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 That was a classic movie that we remember oh, from when so we were growing up. Honestly, and it was so emotionally like traumatizing when we were younger. Mm -hmm. So I just rewatched yeah. it two nights ago on Amazon and it's it was just so much less aggressive than when I watched it when we were younger. Mm. But who do you think, Christina? I almost think you are, if I had to say, it was funny because when I was watching it, you kind of remind me of Joe. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah. That she's the one who I immediately gravitate towards. Yeah. Even though I'm much more girly than Joe yeah. and I don't I care about my hair. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're oh one God, beauty. She, <laughs> you're one beauty because she chops. Spoiler alert: she chops off her hair. Right, right. Yeah. But I think my spirit. I remember is most watching like that Joe. as a young woman and just being so shook that she cut her I know, hair off. I know. Speaking of hair, I've noticed like you guys should do a drinking game. Whenever I touch my hair, drink because I touch <sighs> my hair so much. And I was watching the video back, and I'm like. Oh, 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 oh. That's I, part of the. I don't know why. I don't know why I do it. And like, it is. It's just. It's one of the things. It's one of my mannerisms. You know. And well, you'll stop. You'll take stop. me, baby, or leave me. You'll okay. Stop. Will I stop? Well, I don't know because it's a nervous mannerism, and we're in the time of Corona. And you know what? At this time, if I can't touch my hair now, when can I touch my hair? You know what I mean? Well, that's the benefit of having a YouTube channel because you can <sighs> see your habits I know. and correct them. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, yes, but I actually, you watch. Speaking but I of that, I think that's yeah. true because I also was a tomboy when I was younger and yeah. Joe You were very grew out independent, very, very headstrong. Yes, yeah. very much a tomboy. And I love writing. So and that, education. And education. Really exactly. into education. Yes, yes. And yeah, you were never into just like marrying, even though you got married 
quite young. Well, I was. I was. Yeah, I was. Well, no, I was. Young. Yeah, I guess. But you I were. think yeah. my predominant one would be Joe. Would be Joe. How Who, about you? Wait, who's mine? I think we I know, know, we know this. We know. This. You've always been an Amy. Just yeah. the youngest. Yeah. The she just the very worldly wise, very popular. Amy <laughs> is the most popular one of so all the sisters. Popular. No, she very yeah. classic. Yeah. Classy, and she's artistic, but she's pragmatic. That's what the very pragmatic. pragmatic. Are. I call her yeah, the I title her. I give for her is the pragmatic artist yes. in my article, so, and I I'm think that does Amy. that does speak such, well of you. I'm so Amy, a mm-hmm. thousand percent. Okay, yes. beautiful. So I love that, Christina. So my suggestion is. Of course, as everybody has heard in every social media, if you've seen social media, Tiger King, (laughs) watch it immediately. Stop what you're doing. Actually, finish watching this and then... Then literally, like, clear your calendar for the next, like, six hours and just watch Tiger King. It is a wild ride. It's a wild ride. It's unlike anything I've ever experienced on television, and it's exactly what we need at this time. Um, I'm all in for Tiger King. Um, Carol Baskin, um, I say the names wrong, but Carol Baskin killed her husband. That's what Joe Mm. is saying. It's just, it's everything that we never knew that we needed during quarantine. So it's, it, the hype is real. There are a few like trigger warnings because it's really intense, but like, Mm. absolutely go for it. Watch it. It'll take your mind off of the madness that is, it will make our world actually (laughs) seem pretty calm, like based on like compare comparatively. So that would be definitely be my suggestion for the week, Tiger King. And let me know what you think about it. Um, fantastic. So let's move on to gone girl, gone girl, (laughs) assist gone girl. (laughs) Let's do it. Let's do it. Gone girl. Love it. As sisters, we have our fair share of disagreements. We sure do. <laughs> today was uh, today specifically. <laughs> Every day we oh date coach men and women who don't know whether they should stay in a relationship or move on. In Gone Girl, we debate different hot relationship trigger topics. Gone girl. Okay, so for the first scenario, she's texting during a date. Gone girl or it's just a girl thing. Well, I mean, okay, so I'm kind of also want to contextualize this, but look at contextualize. <laughs> oh, that's oh, it's just so genius. Um, it's all coming out in quarantine. Um, but I want to contextualize this in, so in normal dating, BC, before Corona, when you're out and like you're, and when you're out on a date and a girl has her phone out and she's texting, um... I would, I think you give her one indication that it is not cool Mm. and then it's gone girl. Because I think that there are some girls who like are obsessively on their phones during dates and it is, and ladies, I love you, but do not do this. Mm. Put your phone, one of our guidelines at Matchmakers in the City is put your phone, turn your phone off during your date. You don't have to turn it off, but put it away. And when you go to the bathroom, that's your time to check your texts. Not at the table, not with it lifted up so it's sparking every three oh, seconds with so text bad. messages. So and then you're checking it. The guy is like deflated when you do that. And we've gotten feedback about that of why yeah. that's why a guy didn't want to go on a second date with one woman. And she was like, oh, what are you see talking about? I only texted back once. And I'm like... No. No. So just know that. And then, I mean, and then in times of quarantine, I think it's important if you are like quarantining with a significant other to understand that this is a different time. But also if you find that your significant other is texting a lot more than usual and you feel like you're trying to get their attention and they're not paying attention to you, um, you guys can like set even during quarantine set little date nights so or like little date moments so if you're say you're in the house together you're both working from home then at say okay 
at 6 p.m. or 7 p.m., we're going to cook dinner together, and it's going to be date night. Like, we're right. having a romantic date where I'm cooking, we're cooking, phones away, no looking at phones, no looking at texts, no looking at social media, put it away, just focus on each other. And then when the date ends, then it can be when you're like, okay, now the date is over, and now you can, like, go and look at your phone again. But I yes. think we have to kind of do BC and then during you know DC during corona yeah I totally hear what you're saying I think that's really good wisdom for people even if you're married and you're you're at home together to make sure you're still etching out times where you can still have your date nights yeah that's that's really important I love that Alessandra good and then if you're dating for for not in not in a relationship yet it's something to pay attention to and definitely Mm -hmm. to bring up I yeah, love it. Totally. Great. Okay. Next scenario. She spends a long time in the bathroom. Gone girl or it's a girl thing. I was actually guilty of this when I was dating, but not that I was texting or calling anyone. It was more that I just wanted to redo my makeup and do my was hair. like on the Fresh phone. My- <laughs> no, I wasn't. I literally was putting perfume oh on gosh. again and brush oh sprucing up. And men would say to me, why do you take such a long time in there? I know. And I didn't want to say that because I didn't want it to look like I needed all this primping (laughs) time. I'm I'm lactose (laughs) intolerant. It's my excuse. Maybe that was your excuse. (laughs) Oh, bless. But yeah, you were primping. Yeah, Um, so I think it's dependent. If you notice a woman is, if you know, oh, I just got off the phone with my blah, blah, blah. That's yeah, just weird. rude. Yeah. Why I think talk if to it another exceeds, time? If it exceeds five minutes. Five to ten minutes. Ten minutes! <laughs> what are you doing for ten minutes in the bathroom? Yeah, no. Do, where do you want ten to minutes is excessive. This That woman is too high maintenance. Gone, girl. <laughs> Gone, girl. I wouldn't have married Christina. I would just wouldn't have. Well, I, I would have, have been to be over. honest. That was my, yeah. those were my young Hollywood times. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You used to primp. But, I mean, yeah. I think ten minutes, I think ten minutes is excessive. I think five minutes is a solid time. Six or seven if there's a long wait. But, because sometimes you go to a restaurant and there's, like, a huge wait. To the bathroom. So, to the bathroom. The room. Yeah, for the ladies' room. So, and then, but then in the, in those occasions, then you can say, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. There was such a long wait. I remember when I was dating, I would literally, if there was a wait, I didn't want the guy to think I was literally having like a lactate <laughs> attack. So I would text him and be like, hey, I'm so sorry. There's a huge line at the bathroom. Like just so he knew. But yeah, ladies go a little faster. If you do it, do it quick. You got to get it quick. Okay. Next scenario. We've been um, quarantining together and she is wearing sweatpants every day. Ooh, Bless gone you. girl yeah, no. or it's a girl thing. It's a girl thing, honey. <laughs> honey suckle. It's a girl thing. <laughs> Guess what? If you're quarantining together, um, I mean, listen, unless you're setting, I think that it is as, as a, as the guy. And if you're the masculine in the relationship, feel free to be like, sweetie, tonight, it, like we said, it's date night, put on a dress, put on your heels, do your thing, do what you do. And let's make this as if we're going out. But you, when you definitively say that she'll take the lead from there, she knows what to do. And also, but definitely it's a girl thing. Like this is unprecedented time. So it's a girl thing. Great. You know? Okay. Moving on. Great. So let's go to sisterly advice. Every week we answer a listener's burning question, and every week we give her advice that only your sister would give you. Great. Hey, question for you. What are your thoughts on getting physical on a first date, especially if you're going to his place for a solo date during these corona times? What do you do if a guy initiates and it is hard to turn down? Ooh, Ooh, yes, this is this is a this was a very interesting question that Thanks we received. Thanks for the DM. This week. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Mm-hmm. Um, at Matchmaker Alessandra Conti, um, yes. this was a wonderful DM that mm-hmm. I think is really applicable to current times. Oh yes. Um, well, first first things first. You know, we want to just note that we do not recommend. Um, we recommend social distancing and not going to young men's homes during this time. Exactly. And so keeping our already a little illicit. 
illicit, a little illicit, but we'll right. let it slide and we'll answer the question. So just disclaimer, we don't encourage you going over a man's home on a first date. You might get murdered and also oh, you might oh get gosh. corona. So you, either way, you're going to die, <laughs> um, which is oh. not the, we don't want that to be the result of a first date. Christina, what would you say? to this young yes, woman. Yes, I know. And that's why it makes this time so difficult because even if you've gotten to know a man previously, things can either get pretty intense because you're going over each other's apartments now, mm -hmm. or you can keep to the virtual dating guidelines that we set out in Alessandra's article that's on our website, that on our blog website, if you want to check that My out. virtual dating guidelines <laughs> that you must not, you must not um, disobey. I'm so out of being like a... Uh, authoritarian. Okay, continue, Christina. So what do you... So, okay. Yeah. Like in this situation, what do you do? Yeah, I, I would say... Thoughts I, on getting physical on a first date? No. No. Period? No. No. Never. 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 Ever. Ever. Even in no. corona time? No. 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 no it no, does no. not make any sense because some people have said, oh, yeah, it's kind of like a war time and yeah. they've, they've been dating in, in a different way, but it doesn't change things. You don't change your standards mm -hmm. because... And maybe this hasn't been your standard in the past. That's okay. But it should be moving forward. Yeah. Because you want a man who respects you and you want to respect your body and you want to get to know each other before things even venture down that realm. Absolutely. The thing about getting physical on a first date, and I have had women come to me and be like, Allie, you don't understand. We connected mind, body, spirit, soul. It just felt right. It felt like it was so hard to say no, just like what you're saying. But I'm telling you, you are looking for a future boyfriend that will turn into ideally husband, right. okay? The number one thing that will separate a guy that, an F boy that just wants to hook up and your future husband is one word, consistency, mm -hmm. okay? There is zero yep. way for a man to prove that he is consistent on a first date. Yep. Can you be charmed? Absolutely. Can you connect? Oh yes, honey, you will connect. Yep. But is he consistent? And you ladies know this that a guy, you could have an amazing first date and it could just be mind blowing. And then you just, you don't hear, don't from, hear him, from him and he goes to you. And it's so sad. And it's but so it sad. It happens frequently. It happens frequently because men who are good at dating are bad at relationships. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember that if a guy is, if you are connected, listen, it's not that I don't want you to connect when you're meeting men and going on dates, but there are men, a lot of men who are just really good daters mm -hmm. and they can get that level of intimacy, make you feel comfortable. They've read the books. They've done this a lot of times and then they get you, they get physical with you. And the only way to know a guy's true intentions is time. Yes. Truth, as the great Justin Bobby once said, truth and time tells this all. This is the second time I'm, we are we, quoting him this week, actually. We quote Justin Bobby, I think, maybe once a week. Um, <laughs> truth and time tells all. So it doesn't, I'm not, we don't, I'm not saying, oh my God, you're going to be slutty if you sleep. No, that has nothing to do with it. It is, you're looking for a man who's consistent. Mm -hmm. And he, he, he just can't prove that to you on a first date. So he true. just can't. And then you sleep with him, you release oxytocin, which is the cuddle, love, like bonding hormone. Mm -hmm. So when women have sex, they release a hormone called oxytocin, and it's the cuddle, the bonding, the love hormone. Whereas when men have sex, they release glycogen, which is the, G, the, the hormone that makes you fall asleep. Okay. It is a very different experience for men yes. and for women. So you do, unless um, like we, we don't know why would you want to get attached to this guy? You don't know what his intentions are. You don't know if he's going to call you tomorrow. You don't know. Talk is cheap. It's all about consistency. Yep. Okay. Okay. I love Amen, it. Sister. Amen. Oh, <laughs> preach, honey. <laughs> preach, preach, preach. Um, great. So Finishing up with Thank our you final your segment. Thank you so much. And feel free to DM Matchmaker Alessandra Conti or at Matchmakers in the City or Dating in the City at, Ma at Dating in the City Podcast. We have so many of them. Or Matchmaker Christina Conti. So catch all Instagram. All the IGs. Yes. Mm -hmm. So catching up with the Contis. Okay, so Christina, um, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> 
so usually during Catching Up with the Contes, we have some fabulous events that we can talk to you guys about that we're going to, maybe a fashion show, you know, a party that we were attending. This week, you know, not so much. Um, but do you have any big, big plans with Dan for the quarantine? I don't know if I'd call them big plans, but I am in the process of writing an article about how to find meaning in your romantic relationships during times of crisis. Mm. I, Dan and I had listened to the book Brides Had Revisited on, on audio, and that it's it's a very interesting book. Wait, wasn't but, that? A, oh, yes, it was. It's a it can be creepy yeah. at times. Okay, but we listened to the whole thing, and it's really a masterpiece. Ugh. Once you a masterpiece, it is. It's, by it's a masterpiece, Wall, and it's a masterpiece, oh, and it takes yeah. place during yeah. World War II, which mm-hmm. I was. You'll see I make some parallels. Mm. Obviously, we're not in a world war right now, but we are in a pandemic. We're in what feels like war times, that's for sure. Yeah, so that is something that I am working on. As I told you, we already just published the Little Women article, so you can read that one until you have more from me. But that's what I'm, I'm up to, I would say. I love it. I mean, tonight, I'm just doing a lot of virtual things. So I think that somebody, like, for, for somebody, I am... I am, wait, I was going to say an exorcist. I am not an exorcist. I am an extrovert, okay? So for me and for people like me, um, it's really hard (laughs) to not go out. And like, it's just been really hard. So maybe um, that's why you've been very off the filter. Um, (laughs) I'm fine, okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. The Ross meme. I have to be grace. Um, Give me grace. Give me grace. But no, I think for, honestly, for extroverts, it's been really difficult That's because true. I go I go to events I go to I meet with friends for dinner I'm out and this is how I connect I love my communities I love it all so tonight yes. I have a I'm doing this thing um so St. Monica's is the church that I go to and oh. it's Vespers and so tonight they have a really cool faith sharing thing so oh. um, yeah it's like virtual faith oh. sharing but it will be really good because I think we all need a little bit of that in these times um, and then I have a few like friend dates that I'm doing and I have a virtual brunch, a standing. So me and my girlfriends usually do brunch at Tavern um, in Brentwood. And thank God we went like before, you know, we went. Ugh. But anyway, before they closed um, for the quarantine. But yeah, so we've been doing that. And so for me, I mean, it's been really important to just like I've been reaching out to my friends almost every day and yeah. just like checking in, making sure that they're healthy, making sure that they're their, their families are good and just like maintaining that communication and even like I feel like I'm talking more too because mm. I'm like I'm like on the phone with people and that's fine but I'm not gonna lie it's it's tough like yes. and even just it's really nice to like get dressed up you know for something so we you know we're here and we're we're dressed exactly. and you know we've we've got the we've got it we've got it here um but yeah course, we're still working we're, we're still, still we are so <laughs> see that's the thing I mean as well like yeah Yes, we can't go out or do anything social, but we're this really is our normal blessed. Work week. Yeah, like this yes. is our normal work week, yeah. and we're still working, and we're really blessed that we have each other, Christina, because we are able to like while the other matchmakers are working from home and our other team is working from home, um, we're able since we've began the thing together, like we have exposed to each other. So we're really lucky that we get to see each other every single day, and that we get to work together every single day. And That's true. Um, kind of alternate locations from one very secluded area to the other. Um, well, thank you so much yes. for joining us and being part of our day. We look forward to this every week now. Yes. And we can't wait to see you next time. And feel free to follow us, to subscribe to the channel, to like what you hear, and give us a, a five-star review if it's in your, if you would love to. Thumbs up. Yes. Thumbs up. <laughs> thank you. But yeah, subscribe below. We have another video from last week and feel free to, it's 44 minutes of fabulousness. Thanks you guys. We'll see